Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. Today's video is all about Lib Tinted. Recently I went to a lunch event with Lib Tinted. I got to meet Deepika and her lovely team. They were so, so nice. They kindly gifted me all three shades of their Lib Tinted Hue Sticks. These have been like all over my Instagram. I've, it's been a while since I've seen them and I've been wanting to try them from, for the longest time. So today we get to try it. I have the shade Origin, Perk and Rise. And I also have the shade Found, which I'm not sure if, I'm not, she did say, I forgot, I'm so bad. But I do know, I checked in the comments and they said that this will be coming back this year. So it's not on the website at the moment, but I think it's coming back in stock. I'm not sure, but it's beautiful. I'm so excited to try these three shades. You guys don't even know. So now before we jump into the video, I'm going to do a post notification shout out because I haven't been serious on them. Like what is going on? Today's shout out goes to Simon C. So thank you so much for your sweet comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below or you can just leave a nice comment. These hue sticks are kind of like a universal product. You can use them as a color corrector on your lips, eyes, cheeks just wherever you want to just put it anywhere i just love that the brand stands for diversity inclusivity i feel like these shades can be used by anyone there's a light shade for paler skin tones it's not only for tan asian or you know deeper skin tones you know you have a lighter one as well um, which can be used as a nude lipstick for us i loved hearing deepika's story she's been wanting to create a brand since she, I think she said 16 years old and she's finally done it. She's working on her dreams and uh, to me that's so inspiring and motivating. And yeah, it was just like one of the best events I've been to because first of all, they had Indian food for once. There was just a bunch of brown bloggers there. And at the event, we just got to chat to Deepika and it was so nice. I love, I love those kind of events. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to try these. Shall we jump straight into it? I put a, like a dewy kind of foundation so I can like rub it off and like we can try each shade as a blush. Um, I might do like uh, one as a color corrector, but you can color correct with, depending on your skin tone, but mostly Origin is a good standard one. Rise is like an orangey corrector. And Perk, um, I think it's only, I think it's like a good salmon-y shade because when I used to work on Bobbi Brown, who actually invested in Lip Tinted, which is amazing. I'm so happy for Deepika. When I used to work on the Bobbi Brown counter, we used a lot of salmon shades to counteract blue, purpley undertones under the eyes for paler skin tones. Um, you can also do it for like, if you have like an NC40 shade, you could almost use this shade as well for your under eyes. I feel like I'm talking so fast because I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. First shade I'm gonna use. It's just obvious it's rise i have been since she launched these i've had my eye on rise and by the way you can get these straight from the um website they have uh, uk shipping so much thought went into this like she explained how like most packagings are silver gold and in between is kind of rose gold but no one has done coppery and this like really like that coppery effect and it's frosted okay so the first shade we're gonna try is rise this is kind of like a burn orange it's actually darker than i thought it's just a swatch for you guys my lips are kind of dry i don't know i didn't choose the right day to film this but Don't, don't even. Oh my God, this is my next date night lip, okay? It's like the perfect lip color. Cause to be honest, I'm not kind of like a red lip kind of girl, right? There's only been a few occasions, a couple of occasions where I've gone out with red lip. Guys, I'm not even joking, okay? It's so opaque, it's so cream. I love like the applicator cause you can like, really get that at precise application. It's so beautiful. Okay, now let's try it on, a little, on the cheeks. I just want to show you because I've used a uh, found a few times on my cheeks, and I'm not gonna even put. I, I've rubbed off on my bronzer, but these are so easy to blend. It's so beautiful, and because like. I love that kind of like skin like look lately. These are just perfect to dab on the cheeks. I've got a few spots here. 
which are actually very painful, but it's okay. Gotta do it for the video. This is so good and it's gonna be amazing to color correct with. I've color corrected with found. The formula is good. It doesn't give me smile lines or anything. So I've already tested that bit. Um, but yeah, if you want a standard orange corrector, you can use it for that. You can use it on your lips. You can use it just on your eyes as well. I'm not gonna do that today. Okay, we can move on to the next shade now. Also, if this can cover my pigmented lips, you're good to go. Okay, let's just wipe this away. It's not easy to like keep reapplying, but as long as you like have a nice dewy like foundation that sinks into the skin, you'll be fine. Okay, do you know what? I'm gonna do one side with just foundation and wipe. This side, can you see the pigmentation coming through a bit? Yes. Okay, next shade we're gonna be using is Origin, which is just a standard deep red to be honest. So we're gonna put a little bit on this side here. Just dab it in. Don't need no tools, just dab it in with your finger. I have this weird line on top of my lips. It's not hair, because I've already removed the hair. Okay, now we're gonna put the foundation back on. Honestly, I'm not the best example because I'm I'm okay with pigmentation, but you know, it's added a bit of warmth to my foundation and it's kind of covered the patch. I have a white patch on each side. It's kind of covered that and evened out that bit. And it's just warmer around this bit, for sure. You can still see a bit of pigmentation around this bit. But if you're someone that has like a lot of darker pigmentation under your eyes or around your mouth and when you put concealer, it goes ashy, um, definitely recommend this. Just put a little bit under your eyes and you'll see your concealer will go way more like true to color rather than go straight to that ashy grayish tone, which is normal, it happens. But if you are like my auntie, she has pigmented uh, under eyes, I would definitely color correct with these and then put a concealer and it just will go flawlessly on. So now let's put Origin on the lips. That's what it looks like on the lip. It's a beautiful red color. I will say this is more on the sheerer side, like the formula, um, but it doesn't claim to be like a full coverage matte lip, you know. It just looks like a sheer lipstick because I can still see, uh, it's like full of color, like don't get me wrong, but I can still see my pigmentation through. Just to compare with Rise, that's Origin next to it. I'm gonna put some on the cheeks. Okay, so that is Origin on the cheeks and on the lips and also as a character, color corrector on this side. This is a wearable red as well, I'm not gonna lie. I prefer this as a blush than on the lips, it's just my per personal preference. But yeah, it's just gorgeous. It's like, like I said, it's a versatile product. So the next shade is found. You guys have seen this shade. I think this is my favorite one after Rise. So that's what the shade found looks like. It's beautiful, it's like a burnt red. It's so stunning. And this is the shade next to Origin. The final shade that we're gonna be trying is called Perk. So you have Rise, Origin, Found and Perk. I'm just putting a bit of matte cork for this shade. That's what I would really do with this shade. I'm not just gonna put it straight on my lips because I know it's not gonna look like, it's not, I'm not gonna like it, so. It doesn't make sense to just put it on its own. 
Okay, let's put this room right in the center. That's just my type of lip. I definitely wouldn't like the shade on its own, but with a lip liner, it's stunning. I love how it just easily blends. It's so comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna finish off the video here. Like, I only have good things to say about it. I definitely recommend you guys trying it out. These will be amazing for all skin tones, especially for tan skin tones, for deeper skin tones. If you have pigmentation, it's gonna be a lifesaver. Color correcting is so key. It just helps your makeup sit nicely on the skin. Even if you have like uneven skin, it's gonna help even it out and reduce the appearance of like ashiness because that ha can happen, especially with concealer. So yeah, it's just the perfect product. The, the formula, um, the only thing I can say is that Origin is a bit sheer, but I'm not, it's, it doesn't matter. Like it doesn't need to be like a full coverage because you can use it for anything. I love how easy these are to like blend out, especially on the cheeks. I can't wait to use this on the eyes. This is like a product I would bring on holiday with me as well. Like no joke. You guys know I keep it real. These are just amazing. And you can see they are so beautiful. And having worn this um, throughout the day, I only need to reapply when I'm eating because they are more of a creamy formula. So you have to reapply when you're eating sometimes, especially oilier foods, which is normal with any like creamy lipstick. But the opacity of it and, you know, just the overall color is strong. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Uh, what is your favorite shade mine's definitely rise and second is found i love both of them but they're all pretty i feel like this for every day at work with a lip liner is going to be my jam and you just gotta support an entrepreneur a starting up business it's just only good things i need to support a sister and yeah go check out the hue sticks guys i'll link them in the um info box for you guys i hope you guys enjoy this video I definitely have more reviews coming up so make sure to stay tuned for that subscribe if you haven't already follow me on instagram because i have like short mini tutorials on there and that's where you can find me when i'm not on youtube and yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video bye